and welcome back to the channel everyone this is michael at rbm crypto today's video will be an unboxing of the brand new tracer safe 3 which i just recently received in the mail and what we'll be doing today is we'll be unboxing it showing you what's inside the case and then we'll be setting up your wallet for the first time that way you can safely store your cryptos offline but before we jump into it if you're enjoying the content you're seeing don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button all right let's go so first things first once you look at your tracer safe 3 box and you now have it in your hands you can see that there's a security seal on the side of the package. You wanna make sure that that has not been broken. And in our case, it has not been. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear this off and we're gonna get going to see what's inside the package. And as we open things up, you can see here, top comes off easily. You have a let's get started package here. The cable that goes with it to plug in to your desktop computer. And then obviously the device right here see all black LCD screen in the front and you can see there's also a safety tab here at the bottom and a safety seal where you would be plugging in so you want to make sure this has also not been broken in our case it has not been so what we're going to do is we're going to tear these both off and we are going to move forward and you can see here once we pull off the back it will also pull off the front as well and now you have access to your screen and you can see here, it's a machine nicely. On the back here as well, you can see the Tracer logo. And then now what we're gonna do next is remove the security seal on the front tab here. And we will begin the process of setting up your wallet. So now that we have everything on box, we can move that out of the way. We'll just leave our Tracer here. We also have our cable that's plugged into our desktop PC now. I'll throw that over to the side. And we can just look at our package here that comes with the device. So if we just open this up from the backhand side here, can see that there's a get started little manual here that will show you basically a little bit of the device and how to set things up. A little sticker from Tracer, a secondary, or even a third Tracer sticker here. And then your two recovery seed booklets. So basically with these booklets here, there's your area to put in all of your words for your safety key phrase. And you can see that there's gonna be 12. So what you would do is you would make sure that when you set this up you are going to make sure that you make two copies and store them in different locations always make a copy with a pen and paper never make a digital copy and for any reason at all don't print your keys out don't do anything like that because as soon as it's digital it can be hacked so what you want to do is make sure always pen and paper store them in a safe location for the long term that way only you know where they are and nobody else can find them so now we have our recovery seed what we're going to do now is we're going to take the next step forward here and set up our wallet so i'm going to plug in my device for the first time so i'm just going to plug in my cable here i actually have an extended cable and this cable is two meters long that way i have some space to go from my desktop to my device and i don't need to sit there struggling with the small cable that comes with it. So it's a great purchase. And if you wanna purchase one, you can purchase it directly off of the Tracer website. Okay, so now our device is plugged in and we're ready to rock and roll. So you can see on the screen here, once we plug it in for the first time, it'll tell you to go to tracer.io slash start. I've already done so, and I already have the Tracer Suite desktop program installed on my PC. So if you don't have that done so far, I will post a link on where to download the Tracer Suite in the description of this video below and all other relevant information will also be in the description as well. Now, before we get started, you can see here, once I've plugged in my device, it asks us to do a security check. It wants us to make sure that our hologram, which we checked before at the bottom of the device was not uh, tampered in any way. So ours was not. And then obviously our device was purchased from a treasure shop or a trusted reseller, which we did. And then the device package was intact and untampered with, with a security tab on the side of the packaging completely intact and not tampered with. So ours was also okay. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we are going to start setting up the Tracer for the first time. First things first, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to install the firmware for our device and the latest version is 2.6.3. So we're gonna hit install firmware and you can see here on the device, it is now installing the firmware. We're about 12% done. And when this is finished, we can begin to set up our wallet. You can see as the installation progress is progressing, there's a little tiny screen on the device going along with it. And now you can see that the firmware has correctly been installed. And now we can move on to the second step, which is setting up our wallet. So now that the installation is completed, we can hit continue. So now the next step is we're gonna check the device to make sure that it is legitimate. So you wanna make sure that you hit start here. And now it's going to ask you to confirm on your device the check. You're gonna hit allow and it is now checking authentication 
on the device itself. And now you can see on the screen that we are verified and the wallet is genuine and we are ready to go. So we can hit continue. We'll hit continue on the Tracer device. You can see here that there's two buttons, one on the left-hand side, one on the right for X and move forward. So there'll always be two buttons that you can use with the screen. So right now we're gonna move forward here. It's gonna ask you to use the Tracer by clicking the right and left button. That way you can get used to using both of them. And then you can hold to confirm to continue the process. And that's gonna ask you to press the right scroll down to read all the content when all the text doesn't fit on one screen. And then you can hit continue and then confirm with both buttons. After this, you can see here it says tutorial complete and you are now ready to use the Tracer device. You can hit continue and the tutorial is now completed and now we hit continue on the screen. And now we can set up our wallet. So the first part of the setup is just a process to get you familiar with the device and to make sure that it is verified with Tracer for it to be genuine and for you to begin to store your crypto on. So now that that is completed, we are good to go and we're gonna to begin to set up our wallet. Now, if you have an existing wallet, you can just choose to hit recover wallet and you can set up a wallet using your past security phrase. Today, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna set up a wallet from scratch to show you the entire process and that way you get a good understanding of how to set up your device and then begin to store crypto. So what we're gonna do now is hit create new wallet. And you can see there's just two different options here on the screen, one for standard backup and then one for an advanced Shamir backup. This actually breaks up your key into several parts. It's a little bit more advanced. So for today, we're gonna to just do a standard seed backup. So I'm gonna click on this. And then once this is done, you're gonna to need to confirm on your device. I'm just gonna scroll down here. It's gonna ask you to confirm. I'm gonna hit create wallet. And it is now processing on the device. And now it says your wallet is almost ready. So now we're gonna create a backup. So we'll hit create backup. And now you can choose to create your seat. So you see some options here. It's just gonna let you know what this means. So your recovery seed is your, basically your recovery in case you lose your device or it gets damaged. So basically what this means is this security key that you write down, if you lose your device, it's damaged in some way or you can't access it, if it's stolen, all you need to do at that point is go and purchase a brand new Tracer, import the security key, and you have access to all your funds again so they are not lost. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, never make a digital copy of your key and make sure you store your recovery seed securely and never share with anybody. So what we're gonna do right now is just click on all three of these to say we understand, and we're gonna hit begin backup. It's gonna ask you to confirm this on the Tracer, and it's gonna ask you to double tap both buttons. So we're just gonna hit that. And then it's gonna ask you to show the first word. Make sure you that obviously you write down all of these words in order from one to 12. Hit show words. And now you can see it's gonna to start to show all of your security words in order. So you can see I have one, two, and three here on the screen. I'm gonna write these down in order and I'm gonna hit the down button. And I'm gonna to continue to process and write down all of these words in order until I reach 12 and then I will hit continue. And I can see here on my screen that I have written down all 12 words and I can hit hold to confirm. And now once this is done, it's gonna ask you to check your backup. Essentially, it's gonna ask you to present a certain word in a certain order. So I'll hit continue. And it's gonna ask me to select my third word, which is indeed the one that is shown. So we'll hit that. It's gonna ask me for my sixth word. We'll double tap. And then it's gonna ask me for my 12th word. And we will also double tap to select. Once this is done, we can hit continue. It's gonna tell you that it has been successfully created and we can hit continue and then continue again. And on the screen, it's gonna ask you to create a pin. So what we're gonna do next is continue to create a pin. It's gonna ask you this. And every time you need to plug in your device and access it, this is the pin that you need to present. So we'll hit that and we'll hit set pin. And now you can go to the tracer itself and say that, yes, we wanna turn this on. And then we're gonna hit turn on and then we can do any pin basically from four to 50 digits long. And then we can hit continue. And now you can choose to set up your pin. So you can see here on the screen, you can scroll left or right to choose the number and then double tap to select. So it's gonna set up a pin now using the available options. And then once we are good to go, you can just scroll all the way over to one side and hit enter and then that will be the confirmation. At this point, you're gonna hit continue and it's gonna ask you to put in your pin one more time. So I'm gonna just do so right now.
And then once I'm done confirming it, I can just hit confirm with a double tap. And now it's going to process my pin and create it for the device. And once again, this is going to be required every single time you log in. Once it's done, you'll hit success, continue. And now your Tracer pin is set and you can continue. And now you can choose to begin to set up your wallet. So you can see that automatically all of these are selected. If for some reason you don't need one of these, you can obviously uncheck it and it will hide that wallet. For now, we're gonna leave them all checked off. That way we can have access to all of them. And then if you want to choose to do so, you can hit advanced here. And there's also options to enable Tor. We're not gonna do that today. And we'll just leave the available coins here. So we'll hit complete setup. And now you can choose to edit your name and change your home screen on your device as well as now the wallet is set up and ready to go. So we can do this later on. I mean, you can just choose now if you want to edit your name, you know, demo or whatever you so choose. I'll hit edit name and then you can hit confirm on the device to change the name. So now it's now demo on the device. You can see that is the brand new name. If I want to change the home screen, I can do so by installing different graphics. So now we're going to do is access the suite and we're going to again to show you the wallet. So now we're on the suite itself and this is where you'll be presented with two different options. You can see a standard wallet for your wallet type and then a hidden wallet. Now what this is, is an extra layer of security. So when you plug in your device, you have your pin, which protects your device and all the funds in it. And then if you want, you can add an additional step, which would be to add a passphrase. So this can be any word that you want. And what that means is when you log in, you would need to put in your pin and your passphrase to access your wallet. So if somebody were to get access to your pin and that's compromised, they would still not be able to access your funds. So it is a good extra step. I do have it set up on my wallets just in case it's always good to have. So for today, we're not going to set up a hidden pass phrase, but if you wanted to do so, you could just choose any word. So for myself here, I could just choose, you know, hello, and that would become my pass phrase. Obviously that's not very strong, but you get the idea. But for today, we're going to just do a standard wallet. So I'm going to select standard wallet here. And now we're going to set up our wallet for the first time. And you can see now that everything is going to set itself up. So we have access to our wallets that are being set up here now down below. And there will be a portfolio area here. We can see a chart showcasing all of your funds and how they are doing over time. And obviously the quantities that you have set up in your wallet. And if you scroll down here, you can see all of our security has been created and backed up and we are good to go. Discrete mode is just something where you can temporarily hide your balances. You can see there, if I click that on, nobody can see the balances on the screen. I can just choose to disable that and then we're good to go. So at this point, this is our full dashboard here. We can go to accounts and this will be our account section where you can see all of your different cryptocurrencies that you can store in your wallet. You have Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, XRP, you know, Bitcoin Cash, the Cash Cardano. These are all completely integrated within the Tracer device itself and they are ready to go right off the hop. You can see Ethereum is here. And if you want, there's a section for tokens as well. So obviously all token support for every ERC20 token that's available. They have support for over 1400 different cryptos using Tracer. So basically for today, what we're gonna do is now that we have our wallet set up, we're going to send some Ethereum to our wallet to show you how that would work. So at this point, you can see we're on our Ethereum wallet. We can choose to receive some Ethereum and now you can see our address is right here. So what I can do now is I can go to show full address and now it's going to ask me to confirm my address on my screen. You can see here that the address pops up and to confirm this, once it's a double check, I can see that it matches. I will just double tap confirm and now it will allow me to copy my address. That way I can send some funds to it. Now I'm going to copy my address here and I'm going to send some funds to my Tracer device. All right. Now you can see I'm on my MetaMask account. I have now pasted in my address for my Tracer device in the send section here. I have a small amount of Ethereum and I'm just gonna send around $100 of Ethereum to my Tracer device. Once this is completed, I'm gonna hit next and I'm gonna confirm the transaction and then we'll head back on over to our Tracer desktop suite to see the Ethereum arrive. All right, now I'm back on my Tracer desktop suite and you can see that my 0.05 Ethereum, which is about $100 US, has arrived on my Tracer wallet. And now if I want, I can just simply unplug my device and store it offline and my Ethereum will be protected by my device. And at this point, what I can do now is I can also go to the notification tab up here. It will show me that there has been a transaction completed. I can select view details and it will show me the transfer here in the Ethereum section, the main overview section of my wallet. Can also head back on over to dashboard 
And you can see now that my portfolio reflects this amount in my Ethereum wallet. Now, if we want to send our Ethereum back to an outside wallet, we can do is go back to our account section here, choose Ethereum. And now you can see we have the option to send. So now I can send and now I can paste in an address where I want to send my Ethereum to choose the amount. So let's say at 0.45, that way I have some fees for gas and I could just paste in my address here, hit review and send on the device and then hit continue. And that's what we'll do right now. I'll paste in my address where I want to send my funds to. You can see now that it has a gas fee of 2.35. So basically if I wanted to do so, I could choose send max. This will show me how much Ethereum I can send and what the gas fee would be. I can hit review and send. Once I do so, my device is going to show the recipient of where my transaction is going. I can choose to hit continue. And then it's going to show me the amount and how much it's going to cost for gas fees. I'll hit confirm with both buttons. And then on the screen, it's going to ask me to confirm the transaction, which I will do and I will hit send. And there you go. 0.048929 ETH has been sent to the address I specified. And once the transaction has been completed, it will reflect in my wallet, which is now you can see there's no Ethereum in there. And that's gonna be pretty much it for today's tutorial. I've unboxed the device with you, showing you what comes in the packaging with the Tracer Safe 3, how to connect to it, how to use the device itself, and how to create the wallet, and then how to send and receive cryptocurrency. This device is a great low cost option in comparison to their Tracer Model T, which I also own. It's basically half the cost, which is awesome. So it's a good starting point for a lot of people who are getting into crypto and want a safe and secure device to store their crypto. I will be doing an additional video showing you the brand new Tracer Safe 3 that is Bitcoin only, and as well as that they have a brand new way to store your recovery seed using a physical device. So that'll be coming up on the next video. So if you're once again, if you're enjoying the content you're seeing on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you all on the next one. Thanks and take care.